What is up you guys? So recently Jill has seen a ton of these two-tone dressers. The top is kind of like the rustic wood with just some sort of stain on top and the rest of it is painted. They look really cool and pretty modern. So we wanted to see if we could make them ourselves and sell them and kind of what kind of profit we could make on that. So anyways, we decided to go to the thrift store. We grabbed two, they each cost 60 bucks, so 120 bucks each. Um, they had some cool handles on them and they looked like they're in fairly good shape. Um, and then we decided to do a total rehaul makeover on them. So we're gonna walk you through all the steps we took to refinish these and exactly how much we spent on them and how much money we made from them. So without further ado, we will jump into the video. Really quick, if you like these kind of videos where we do furniture flipping, real estate, crypto investing, and other ways to make money online, we would love it if you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm to let other people know this is an awesome video to watch and subscribe to join the journey. All right, let's jump into it. So for these two dressers here, they're matching. It's a pretty cool set. What I'm thinking we're gonna do is pull off all of these handles. They're pretty vintage, so I'm thinking we might paint them and keep them. Um, and then we're gonna probably take these top two drawers here and sand them down just to the raw wood to do a two-toned look, and then the rest of it will paint. That all depends on how good of quality the wood is below, if there's marks or blemishes or problems that we can't fix, then we might just have to paint the whole thing. So the next step is going to be taking all the hardware off and sanding these things down to see kind of what we're left with. So we have the dresser all sanded and ready to be painted and then we have these top shelves in it sanded so these top shelves we're going to give them a natural stained look and the rest of the dresser we're going to paint so let's get at it. <laughs> There were a bunch of gouges in the drawers. I'm not sure what they were from, but anyways, I just put wood filler on it and sanded it smooth around the edges so it ended up looking nice. Then when we painted over, you couldn't even tell the difference and the drawers look brand new. All right, so once I sanded this patch down, it looks almost as good as new. So with the dressers and all the drawers sanded, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to put a Kills Primer on top of all of the um, wood that's not going to be stained. So the top two drawers on both of these, uh, we're going to do a natural wood stain and the rest of it will all paint black. So we're going to get a white primer on this before we do the black layer. For some reason right here, Jill's video cut out so you don't get to watch the time lapse of her painting the dressers, but I'm sure you get the idea since you just watched me do a time lapse of me painting. Okay, so for the current dresser that we're doing right now, they had this really cool, these really cool um, handles that came with it. They're kind of brass, but they are a bit tarnished. So anyways, what we're going to do with these is we're going to sand them and buff them out a bit, and then we're going to paint them a more modern looking gold color, um, and then put them on top. So we'll film us doing that. have all of the pieces sanded and wiped down and ready to be painted. Okay, 
so I just put polyurethane on top of the top drawers. So these top drawers, we sanded and put polyurethane on them. Um, we didn't use any varnishes or stains, so hopefully they'd come out okay. One thing with the polyurethane is I will notice, since we sanded off um, paint below, there is a couple places where there was a little paint left over, so I might have to go back and resand just a couple spots, but all in all the wood underneath looked really great, um, and so I think it, it made for a really good natural look. Okay, so we got these new legs for the dressers here to make them look a little bit more modern. It's a mid-century modern wooden leg, kind of at an angle. So what we're going to have to do is take this hammer, bash off these legs that are currently on there. Uh, this comes with these metal plates. The metal plate screws to the bottom of this, and then that will screw to the bottom of the dresser, and we'll do the four of them. It's kind of tricky because um, this dresser is good because it has this solid piece of wood to secure it to but some dressers have like the wood comes out really far and there's nowhere to stick the leg or attach it to. So it really depends on the dresser if you're able to use a leg like this or a different kind of leg. We got lucky with these ones. Nice. Okay, so we just finished putting on these mid-century modern legs onto this dresser here. You can check them out down here. It's like a natural wood look and it's at a cool angle. What is up you guys? So we have these dressers, we brought them inside, we put all of the knobs on them, and we have an extra layer of top coat polyurethane, I think, that we put on top of them all, so they're all ready to go. We brought them inside, staged them, took some photos, and posted them. I've already had one message. I'll probably take some better photos, I just wanted to get them done last night, but uh, the lighting wasn't super great. In any case, I currently have them listed for $450, um, so we'll see how much interest we have in them. I'm Super happy with how they turned out, a really cool mid-century modern look, so I'll keep you updated on what happens next. So after spending this much money on the piece of furniture, um, I decided to list it for $400 online for the two pieces. I did have one person that said they would pay $350 if I delivered the two pieces of furniture, so luckily we now have a truck. I threw the two dressers in the back of the truck drove it over to the person's house, helped him load it into his house, delivered, and it was awesome. We sold them both for $350, and this is how much profit we made from the two pieces. The dude we sold them to, super cool, he ended up putting them right across from their bed and put their TV on top of it, so it was kind of like a TV stand, and then they wanted some extra storage as well. It was a really awesome fit uh, with everything else at their house, really mid-century modern. Um, so we were really happy that these pieces could go to a good home, they looked pretty awesome, and we made an okay profit, nothing like insane, and it was quite a bit of work, honestly, with, you know, putting the legs on, painting the handles, staining the tops, painting the bottom, I mean, we had to sand it, then we painted it with primer, then we painted it with normal paint, then we did another coat with normal paint, and then we had to put, um, like, a clear coat on top of the whole thing, so it really was quite a lot of work for these dressers. That's on top of like fixing up little dings. We had to put wood filler into like um, some of the gouges and then sand it flat. So it was a lot of work to fix these up. They ended up looking really nice. We made some okay money off of it. I'm not sure if I would do more in the future that are quite this labor intensive. I kind of like the ones where you buy it, clean it up a little bit and sell it, but it was a fun project. We learned a lot and they ended up looking great. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos where we talk about flipping furniture and different ways to make money online, we would love it if you subscribe to the channel to join the journey and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps out the channel a ton and I will see you in next week's video. Have a great day.